I, I, I have to make this message because some of you are like really concerned about me and I'm like seriously trying to accept everything about me what? without negative stereotypes yeah. and all that. Um, if you had five toes, people would think you're six toes. People think you were weird, you know. Um, Rock and done. If you had a hump on your back, they'd think you're weird. Um, you talk to dead people, you're weird. But if you pray to them, you're not weird. Now, here's my issue. If I was truly schizophrenic, I would have like guess voices telling me to do bad things and telling me what a rotten person I am or whatever. I don't have that. I got people on the other side telling me what a great person I am and um, telling me to do good things, you know, so huge difference. And either you trust the people on the other side or you think they're out to hurt you. It's one of the two. You can't have both. You gotta trust them. If you don't trust them, how do you expect to ever learn anything from them? You know? In every experience in life, you're supposed to learn something. And I refuse to be afraid of me. I mean, I've never hurt anybody in my life. So, I'm not afraid of me hurting anybody and I'm not afraid of spirit telling me to do it and me going, oh, well, I don't know the difference and I'm not going to listen. I don't, I don't have that. Um, sorry, I got a puppy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't have that. I don't have all that drama mama stuff. Um, yeah, you get a lot of people come through a lot, you know, a lot, and especially in the beginning you get, because you've got tons of spirits around you all the time, and if they've been trying to get messages through to you and you're not listening, they're sticking around you until you get those messages. That's pretty much how it works. So if you feel overwhelmed at a certain point, it's because you've not done anything. Think about Sixth Sense, that movie, until the kid actually started talking to them and helping them. He was afraid of them. Do you get that? I'm not afraid of the other side. I'm more afraid of the people that are living because they're so freaking judgmental. And I'd prefer to be dead, but I'm not going to do it myself. I'm not suicidal. Ooh, pardon that bird. I'm not suicidal, so. But. Since the dead are so much more relaxed and don't have all the issues we have in this world, I'd prefer to communicate with them than regular people. So if I act weird, get off the computer. If I act weird when I get in front of the camera, it's because I don't like people staring at me. I, I don't like to be the center of attention. I am doing these videos to help not only myself but others. You know, I know there's similar mindsets out there, and I know there's tons of people who thought they were schizophrenic when actually they were mediums. And there's, granted, granted, there's people out there who think they're mediums and they're schizophrenic, okay. But, <laughs> I'm not going to deny that I hear voices or that I talk to the dead just because somebody wants to put a fucking label on me. I'm not going to deny. And I'm not going to say that I want to shut them out. I've never said that I want to shut them out. Even when I first went to the doctor, I told them, don't you dare get rid of my friends. These are my friends on the other side. People here, I've been befriended and then defriended. And, and I mean, the list goes on. On the other side, they, they don't do that kind of bullshit game stuff, you know? So, If I act a little weird in front of the camera, it's because I know I'm bringing up a subject people are going to think is really fucked or crazy or weird or whatever. They're going to be judgmental about it. 
And that's fine to be judgmental. All you want is the more you judge me, the more you judge yourself. But I'm telling everybody that I am seriously not out to get rid of my friends, okay? Um, either living or dead. And granted, I have what, maybe one, two, three, four, four friends in this world. True friends. And none of them live by me. They're all out of state. So it's kind of like my life is just me and the spirit people and my kids. And I try to keep as many people out of my life as I can. And try to, and that's how I keep it stabilized. Because people drive me crazy. Not the spirits. People. <laughs> I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. But really it does. Um... Anyways, um, I just wanted to kind of make that kind of clear, you know. I may come off a little kooky here and there, but granted, all right, I'm hearing people on the other side. They're always talking, always. It, it never stops, but they don't interrupt my life, per se. Um, I get everything done. Uh, It's literally, I think, if they could put a name to the fact that people prefer spirit over people, <laughs> put a label on that, okay, and, and call it medium, because that's what I am. I'm not schizophrenic. I am totally not giving into that status quo bullshit. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Sorry. And I don't care what psychologist, psychiatrist, or anybody else says, okay? Because they only understand what they've been taught. They don't understand what they have not done and what they're doing every day of their lives is listening to people who crossed over and don't even know it. So why would I give in to somebody who knows nothing about my subject matter and just because he thinks he does and he calls it schizophrenic. Why should I do that? Just give me one good reason why I should give in to schizophrenia instead of the media. I dare you. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Here is schizophrenia. There's only certain people that come through, usually the same people, and they usually bug you. And it's only because of the fact that you're scared of them. So, so long as, uh, you know, you ignore them, you get what you get. But if you try to understand them like you would like to be understood yourself, then you won't get that. So anyways, my point is, don't judge yourself so quickly. Don't judge me so quickly. I am maybe labeled schizoaffective, but those people don't know me. They don't know me. They don't know I have a business. Well, they do now. I had a business for eight years. Do you think I could keep up being a medium for eight years and 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 and? not fail if I was fake. Uh, schizophrenics don't talk to certain people. They only keep a certain like little group around in their head. That's the only people. They don't let just anybody come through. That's how I see it. And that's how I've noticed it. And personally, schizophrenia to me comes on when people don't fucking believe that you're hearing things that are actually true. They don't believe you, so you don't believe you. You think there's something wrong with you. And you think somebody else knows you better than you, so you go to a doctor, and then the doctor tells you you're something. And you're like, 
Good. There's a name. Good. I'm happy. At least I solved it. Well, people gave me a name eight years ago. It's called Psychic Medium. And it was solved. <laughs> now, granted, I have PTSD, okay? I, I it was fucking sold when I was eight years old by my mom. Yep, you heard it. Sold to a child molester. Went for a weekend, got raped the whole weekend, came home. My dad found out. And, like, less than a month later, killed the guy right in front of me. So, yeah, I have PTSD. Um, I have some depression. I won't lie. Um, so would you if you didn't want to be in this world and you'd rather be with spirit. But <laughs> what do you do? Um, what do you do? Bipolar, I can go up and down. It just depends on who's around me. And it's because I read their intention. And if they're intentionally out to fight me or argue with me, I don't think I'm not going to come back and do the same thing. It's just, I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. And if you don't like it, then maybe you should change something about yourself, you know? And that's just how that goes. But I'm just going to make it clear. Schizophrenic or medium? I'm a medium. If you want to be schizophrenic, be schizophrenic. But I'd prefer to be a medium. And, uh, I'm going to pursue it. Good time. Could have a dog and all. I mean, yeah, some people are going to think I'm crazy. But once I find one body, they're going to go, hmm, fluke. Find the second body. Hmm. That was uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Find the third body. Uh, we're going to need your help. We got another body missing. That's pretty much how I am seeing that it's going to go. Yeah, that's just what I see. Yeah. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. I gotta go. As you can see, I got my voice back a little bit more. I'm drinking honey and lemon. It's all right. Tastes all right, but it really helps my throat. I can breathe better, too. Um, and I'm coughing stuff up. Finally, <laughs> it's coming up. So, I hope this is getting better. And it's probably because, like I said yesterday, there was somebody that I needed to contact and I hadn't contacted. I contacted them. They got back to me. So, that's good. Um, I used my courage, went ahead and, and contacted somebody that, you know, could very possibly think I'm crazy, but I have messages for him from his little buddy on the other side, so. <laughs> God, you to God, Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.